Alright, so April here with Ready or Not Entertainment. We're doing our segment, Meet the Locals. I'm sitting here with Red Shift from Minneapolis. How are you guys doing? Good, That's you? Good. Fantastic. Good. Uh, so introduce yourselves, ba uh, name and instrument. Uh, I'm Kevin, and I play the drums. Andrew Singh. I'm Jake, and I play the bass guitar, and I occasionally vocalize. I'm Joe, and I play the guitar, and I also sing. Okay. Well, thank you guys for sitting down with me to do this interview. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's our pleasure. All right. Well, it's my pleasure to do the interview. <laughs> All right. Anyway. <laughs> yes, it's the most pleasurable experience. All right. We'll yeah. go with that. <clears throat> so how would you guys describe your music? <laughs> <laughs> Someone help. <laughs> okay, well, uh, it was kind of an eclectic blend of styles that we have. That we all kind of enjoy, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take yeah. an influence from. Yeah, like there's some alt-rock in there. There's some... Uh, Progressive metal. There's some just regular prog rock like Rush or King Crimson. They're straight up death metal. Yeah, yeah. once in a great while, when we get <coughs> hateful towards all living things, which is often. Yeah, we think we <laughs> kind of decided at the beginning to not let any of our influence or let, not let a specific sound come in all the time. Mm -hmm. This is between the three of us. We have so many different influences from all different ranges of music. Yeah. We're just gonna let it all bleed in and okay. uh, influence the music as it goes. I noticed listening to your guys' songs, they all sound different. <laughs> yeah. Like <clears throat> yeah, we go out of our way to make things weird. Like if something yeah. is in 4-4, four, four, we'll just try to add notes to make it not 4-4 not four, 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 yeah. anymore. Sometimes. We're pretentious as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty much it. They're just yeah. huge jerks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all good, I guess. That's what cool. we accomplish. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how did you guys get started as a band? Um, well, Jake and I have been playing together since high school like what like our junior year of high school I think I first Sophomore started playing junior. yeah it was like my first jam session ever on guitar was with him on bass we played uh, Paranoid by Black Sabbath oh, yeah, yeah. Black yeah. Sabbath, yeah. Um, and that that was there it was from there um, we formed a band with some friends from high school it mm. obviously didn't work out and then I met Kevin at North Hennepin and I don't know just got talking to him found out he played drums and then we made the band cool. yeah nice yeah <clears throat> So now, as you said, you guys have a wide range of musical influences. Um, how do you guys bring them all together when you're sitting down and writing? Um, really, the whole writing process, it's kind of like a, it's a collective thing. Like, we'll come to rehearsal and somebody will be like, oh, hey, dude, I've got this really cool part, and I don't know what to do with it. Like, it's just maybe a verse or a chorus or something. Mm -hmm. And then everybody just kind of latches onto that, and, oh, I've got this that I've already been writing, or what if we did that? And it's just kind of a, it's a big inclusive process. Like, everybody's a part of it. Yeah, I mean, usually, <clears throat> usually a uh, like a riffer gets brought to the band, and we'll have practice, and we go, okay, mm -hmm. here's this thing, and then we'll sit there, and you know, we'll write a, we'll work on that one part for a while, and mm -hmm. like if it doesn't have a drum part, I'll sit and write a drum part to it and make it go, and then um, a lot of times it'll be like, oh, that reminds me of this other riff that we have, you know, and then we somehow make the two blend together. That's how we wrote a lot of the songs that yeah. we have written. <clears throat> We just kind of smash ideas together that don't. We purposely find ideas that don't fit, and we just hit them together <laughs> until they do. Until they do. <laughs> yeah. Until we're we're like it. sitting down with puzzle pieces and cutting them so that they fit together. Yeah. Well, that's what sets you guys yeah. apart, then. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> cool. Mm -hmm. um, individually, who are some of your guys' musical influences? You start. Okay. Um, well, you know, like especially for me and Jake, it started out with like old school, like thrash metal and grunge and stuff like that. So a lot of like. Soundgarden and Nirvana, Metallica, Megadeth, stuff like that. And then we started getting into heavier stuff and more mm -hmm. proggy stuff. Dream Theater's a big one for all of us. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Mastodon's a big one for all of us. Um, <clears throat> and then just old school prog rock like Yes and like weird Crimson. stuff like Jess Real Tull, King Crimson. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's all over the board. <laughs> and uh, my biggest personal influence is probably Nirvana because they made me want to start a band. Like I, I wouldn't yeah. be in bands if I hadn't. Listen to Nirvana in an angsty stage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, a lot of, a lot of my uh, when I came into the band, I definitely noticed that these both of these guys have huge, you know, '80s thrash metal kind of influences. No. And I was into more of like the modern metal. Uh, uh, I was I had a stint where I was really into like post hardcore, and I really like uh, 
prog rock and prog metal and bands like Dream Theater or I've been really into band uh, this band Tesseract lately okay. stuff like that and you know adding and then we kind of came together and blended those two worlds together yeah, yeah Dream Theater is one of my favorite bands <clears throat> uh, Tool is one of my big influences yeah. and then Coheed and Cambria obviously as well <laughs> it's one of my absolute favorite bands Definitely a wide variety. Um, do you guys, are you recording an EP or an album at all, or any plans to? Uh, I guess I'll take that one. Um, we, we have been working on an album with uh, an IPR student named Will. Mm -hmm. um, he's an amazing person, by the way. I just want to make sure that everybody knows that Will Lund is an incredible <laughs> individual. Uh, he's a super dedicated producer and engineer. Mm -hmm. Anybody out there needs somebody to talk to about recording. He's able to put up with our shit. So. Yeah, yeah. He, he, if he can put up with our shit, he can put up with anybody's shit. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we've been working on an album with him, and due to some time constraints and everything, we're kind of putting that on the back burner. We're going to start writing and recording an EP now, just like a four-track, okay. quick and dirty thing to get it out there and cool. make sure everybody can hear what we're all about. People cool. need to hear the music. The people, the people need, need to hear the music. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, uh, do you guys have any big plans for this summer, or as in, like, what's next for you guys for this year? Well, Playing metric fuck ton of shows. Right. <laughs> right. That's pretty much what I yeah. was gonna say. <clears throat> yeah, we, you know, we've been a band for a couple of years now, playing shows whenever we can, basically, and trying to record this album. I really want to hit the ground running this summer and yeah. try and get as many shows as possible. We need to get out there, we need yeah. to be playing all over the place. Yeah. And so we've, you know, we've had, like, uh, the show we had coming up in March down at Bugs Bar in uh, South St. Paul. We've played there a couple times, and we seem to get a greater response every time we go back. Okay. So we definitely like to have that at a few different other places, obviously. Yeah. So start reaching out to other venues, other bands, cool. things like that, try and find some more things to do. But I think that's going to be our big focus for the summer, is just a metric fuck ton of shows. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's pretty much it. <clears throat> All right, so I have three random questions, slash hopefully you have funny stories to them. Oh, we will. <laughs> <laughs> be prepared. That's all I had to say. Well, this question should fit perfectly then. Okay. If you could be a pirate for a day, what would you do with that day? <laughs> oh, man! Okay. We wrote a song about pirates, actually. We did. Yeah. We have a song about long, pirates. Long time ago. A long, long time. Actually, that was a song that was originally from one of our old bands. And then, and then we revamped it. it. Yeah. It's we, kind of a and, by, song now. and by revamping it, it we completely rewrote it, and it's a completely different <laughs> it's song. It's still about pirates, though. But it's, it's still, still about pirates. pirates huh? Yeah. Um, well, you know, if uh, I guess we would probably follow the lyrics of the song, and we would go out looking for the the lost treasure of Poseidon. Mm -hmm. Probably get murdered horribly by by a, a god or an demi god. Yep. In, a, in a reign of ice and thunder and hatred. Right, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Is that everybody's answer? <laughs> and then we'd drink some ale at the local tavern after we got murdered. And then drink some more. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's what we do. <laughs> yeah. I like that. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> that works. In regards to music, what is one thing you've always wanted to do but haven't been able to? Well, I'm, Go ahead. I mean, what, one of the big ones is just releasing a really polished recording. Um, you know, it's just it's something that we've been interested in for a while. We've been working really hard on it, mm -hmm. and I don't know. It's been a really fun and really frustrating process, and having yeah. something to show for it would be really awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anything from you guys? Yeah, I would say um, <laughs> one of my big uh, aspirations is to you know be in a touring, performing band, and you know playing for thousands of people every yeah, so. every night, touring the world, that kind of thing. You know, it's it's. I know it's gonna be hard, mm -hmm. and you know it's, it takes up a lot of time. It's a lot of time away from family. Yeah, yeah, the struggle is very real for a touring, touring <clears throat> musician. But that's what I'd like to do. Yeah. I like I like the idea of <clears throat> going, being able to go to a different place every night, and have a you know a sea of people yeah. to to play to that all enjoy the music. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Cool. And well, uh, I just want to affect somebody in the same way that my favorite albums have affected me. If I could just do that to one person, I'd be happy. That's how I feel, too. Mm -hmm. I can relate. Yeah. <laughs> good, 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 good. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Off the top of your head, name a song slash artist that you feel describes your life. Hammer Smash Face by Cannibal Corpse. Get the fuck no, out that's of not, here. That's not true. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a real nice guy, that's not true. Uh, 
Here, let, let's uh, Joe go first. Uh, uh, lately, I think, especially for the whole band, uh, the song Crusher Destroyer by Mastodon describes things <laughs> yeah. for us really well <laughs> because we are being crushed and destroyed by everything that's happening right now. You're right. <laughs> life, life is kind of, kind of a bitch. Mm-hmm. And there's yep. no time for anything, right. and it's just coming down on top of us. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's making things hard. Yeah, I think I have one. All right. Uh, <clears throat> personally, um, I would. I think I would uh, describe my life as uh, the song "I Walk Beside You" by Dream Theater, okay. off of their uh, Octavarium record. And it's basically, you know, about like being there for people, being a helping hand, and mm-hmm. you know, like always being like a good friend and a good person to everybody. Yeah. That's what I, you know, strive to do. Um, every day of my life, so it's a very fitting song. He's a good guy. He's he good. is a good guy. That's good. Sounds like it. I'm feeling a hug coming on. Yeah. Oh. It's, getting, hug. it's getting warm and fuzzy in here. <laughs> yeah. We're getting real soft in here. <laughs> oh, James. <clears throat> Somebody say something brutal. I already did. Hammer. Smash. Face. Yup. Masculinity is back. There we yes. go. Your cat okay. shirt show that too. Yes. yes. Cat cat shirt. Space cat. Pretty awesome. Mr. Cat shirt. Man. Cosmic cat. Damn it. I guess we have to leave the interview. Right, right. right. Mic drop. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right. Well, that pretty much sums up um, the interview, you guys. Uh, awesome. Thank you for All sitting right. down. This is Redshift. Check them out. Um, if you, I'll post the links below. If you guys have any last minute comments, and you want um, to throw in there. Listen to our music and buy our stuff. <laughs> Existence is futile. <laughs> You'll like our music. You will. You don't have a choice. Yeah.